Goddamn electronics. So this is the second time I had an antelope running down the middle of the road and pretty nice little buck antelope. Right in front of the truck. And GoPro, GoPro wouldn't start up. Damn phone wouldn't work. I might have caught it on the phone, but I doubt it. And I think I got it on dash cam. Morning, folks. How's everybody doing? I know it's been a little while, but uh, we're doing a bunch of maintenance on the truck here today. Uh, the other day we were out on some uh, service work, and uh, this happened. The truck isn't riding exactly right. We had a problem. And so, uh, we're thinking uh, this was the culprit. Uh, couldn't get much air to come out of this leveler valve. So we went picked up a new one and while we're at it, I had some leaks in the airbag that was on there. So we're putting a new airbag on there. And then uh, we're kind of redoing everything because we need to have some sort of mess up this down here. what else we'll find you just it just keeps going on and on and on so we're gonna get down in there fix that leveler get everything hooked up and uh we'll get right back to you all righty folks it's about the best shot i can get you i did not bring the gopro but uh this should be correct here in this way <clears throat> And if you do get your lines crossed, I'm pretty sure you can just flip your leveler around. <clears throat> but uh, it's been pretty slow. Um, it shouldn't be. We've been over, you've heard me say that, but <clears throat> word is a week or two to pick back up. Actually, most of our work went up north and I just didn't go up there. So. But, uh, yeah, interesting times we're living in. Um, rumor is they're shut, slowing down. I shouldn't say shutting down. I'm going to say slowing down the fracks. They say to let the drilling pick up. But uh, who knows, right? So That's interesting. You know, it's going to piss off a lot of sand haulers. So... Uh, not good all the way around. Best uh, 150 bucks you can spend right there. Or if that, I think it might have been cheaper. Especially the way I'm getting around these things. I didn't have this sucker gun. Who knows how much heck I'd be going through. But. All right, we'll give it a couple of duggas on that. We will uh, take the clip off of this and get it back attached to the, the ball mount there. And we'll go on the other side and uh, fix our airlines and then we've got to uh, do a little rubber rubber between the tank and hydraulic line zip tie kind of thing to keep from having a problem sometime in the middle of the night all right let's go all righty leveler is right we actually did air up the truck just to be sure a little bit and then that's our key for our transfer to the other side to the other airbag and then now we have a much cleaner 
fitting over here. And uh, we're going to wrap this up, get the bolts back in it, and we can get going here. Okay, let's see if uh, everything's working. Oh, yeah. Working good. All right. We'll have to get this hooked back up here. Uh, you want to have these little metal clips here, what holds your, your uh, socket in there, your leveler valve. And then I like to put a zip tie around it just in case. So. Okay, everybody. A little better. Okay, so your bag with no leaks in it. We've got the uh, fuel line wrapped in, or the hydro line wrapped in rubber right there. Everything is tight, no leaks, and uh, one thing, if you guys are doing this on 379, be sure that the, whoever did this job last had these lines coming down. There's a hole in between this bracket and coming up here, and the line was too short, and it was pulling on the leveler valve. So. Make sure fully extended that you have plenty of slack and all these lines. That's why I gave it so much here. So we'll go back and cover these all up here. Make sure that they're not going to shape on the frame. And it looks like we're good. And I just want to mention, I know JP, you mentioned in the comment in the last video, uh, if I've been trading crypto. Uh, no, I have not. Now is not a good time unless you're like an expert scalper. But I am buying. I've been buying like crazy for the past month, month and a half. And uh, I just want to say, I don't. I just want to touch on this briefly. Right now is pretty close to the bottom. Right now is the best time to to buy. Probably the next six months. Um, it's hard to say exact, but uh, now is when you buy. The money is made now. It's hard to explain this, but most people don't understand the markets. The rich people are buying right now. They're buying everything: stocks, crypto. Everybody thinks, well, I hear that stuff's doing shitty. I ain't going to buy it. Well, that's when you want to buy it. By the time you've heard on Fox News that crypto's booming and everything's great and you should buy, the profits have already been made. Think about it like this. If you can buy a car for $1,000 today or $10,000 in a year, why would you wait eight months to buy it for 7500 when you could have bought it for a thousand all righty folks just my two cents on crypto today. all righty folks we're going to uh move on to some other projects and uh y'all be blessed we'll see you